Hey everybody, it's Lance and we're talking about how computer work can hurt your back and your deadlift performance. Okay, so if you watched my last two videos, we talked about nutrition and we talked about sleep and we talked about this position of your pelvis where you're open in the front and you're closed in the back and you don't have any tension here in your lower abdominals and when you deadlift, all you feel is your low back. This kind of thing is very, very similar to someone who sits all day, especially when someone is sitting at a computer all day. So what happens? When I'm on the computer, um, I have to prioritize how I see, right? Because the more clearly that I can see the screen, the better I can do my work. If I, if I picture myself, software engineer, right? Um, if I'm sitting down here, I push my head forward and you have this very typical um, software programmer <laughs> uh, kind of position, right? We call this a forward head posture because the head is forward and it's my posture, okay? So I do this because it makes me more effective on the computer. It makes it easier for me to see here. Some of the things that you can do to combat that is I can sit up a little bit taller and I can adjust my screen so maybe it's not so far away so I don't have to reach my eyes forward to get there. Maybe instead I bring the screen a little bit forward and I can sit more back in my chair, more comfortably in my chair. Um, and I'm gonna make sure that my back isn't arched while I'm doing this as well. So there's, there's you know kind of a fine line between too far down and too far up. Either of those can be a problem. Um, Let's not go there next. So what we're talking about is the eyes first. So I do that to look at the screen, but the screen is really cl close. And so my eyes have to turn in this way to focus on the screen. And that blocks out everything else that's around. But what it also does, if you look at your phone, um, you can even pull this out. I'll try to talk pretty slow so you can uh, work through this with me. If you pull your phone out and you hold it right here and you look at it, Okay, and then you bring it closer to your face. You'll start to feel it push your face backward. And some people will actually notice tension building in their neck. When tension builds in your neck, tension builds in your back because your back and your neck are all connected. Every joint is absolutely connected and they, they play really well. So they have to so that we can combat gravity and so that we can move on two legs. Okay, so if I sit at the computer and I focus on that thing all the time, I'm constantly toning up my neck and toning up my back. Okay, so if you sit down all day, let's, let's say that next. So the other point, perfect posture at the computer, uh, it might exist, it could probably get better during your job, but even if you sit in the perfect posture at your computer for six hours of the day, it's still too much. Okay, it's too much sitting, it's not going to be enough movement, and you're still gonna feel like crap if you try to go deadlift right away. Okay, so if I'm doing this, if I'm looking at the screen, I got this tight neck, I've been sitting down, my back's starting to ache, and then I'm gonna go work out, I'm gonna need a pretty extensive warm up. I'm gonna say, you gotta do some sort of, of low amplitude movement that's kinda simple for 10 minutes, and then you gotta do some sort of cardiovascular warm up for 10 minutes, okay? It's gonna feel like cardio, but it, all it's gonna do is gonna get your energy systems waking up, it's gonna get your energy levels rising, and it's gonna free up your body, it's gonna warm you up so that you can move again, okay? so. If you're finding yourself at the computer, maybe you're a writer, maybe you are a software engineer, maybe you are a manager who sends a lot of emails, all of those things, right? You need to make a break, okay? You can't just jump right in to heavy lifting. I've worked with enough software engineers at Google to know that this is true. You see it in all of them. They come in and their eyes can't focus on anything. You don't know what you're looking at and they can hardly hear me because they're still thinking about work, right? What you need to do is you need to break that and you need to start doing other things and those other things become movement, okay? Do various movements, do something fun, play a little game. We got 
pickleball courts that we'll play games at. You know, we might juggle a soccer ball or something. Um, anything that you find enjoyable. I even make some of them juggle because I think it's good for them, <laughs> okay? But I'm weird, so you don't have to do that. Um, I think I've said everything I need to say. Take your extensive warm up. Don't just jump right into your deadlifting. Make sure that you're uh, breaking up, preparing your body for the movements that you're about to do.